Alright, how's it going? My name's Arlen, and welcome to Minecraft 1.0. As much as I love all of the new features that Minecraft has, like the new swimming, the, the sunken ships, and a lot of the other features that Minecraft has, I thought it would be fun to take a trip all the way back to when Minecraft was initially released. So that means we have absolutely nothing that the newer versions of Minecraft has. That means we don't have the new swimming mechanics. There's no villager trading, if I remember correctly. I don't think 1.0 had villager trading. There's also no XP for breeding animals. There's no XP for mining stuff like redstone or coal. And there's no XP for smelting or cooking things. So without further ado, let's hop into Minecraft 1.0. Also, here's a bunch of my other worlds which uh i can't well that's a test one that's the only one that i've done in what well it tells you right there uh so let's just make a new world so i don't break the game and we'll just call this oh there's not i can't control a on the newer versions of minecraft you can control a and it selects all of the text on the world but apparently it doesn't on 1.0 that's odd so let's just call this i guess i'll call this 1.0 uh world why not? And, uh, seed. Oh yeah, also you can't turn on, like, the cheat codes and nothing. There's no, like, you can't set the world to super flat or anything, so. Uh, seed, let's call the seed, uh, I guess we'll call it 1.0 fun. Why not? Create world, and let's see how we, how the spawn is. Will we get a good spawn, or will we not? Let's find out. And it is... It's a swamp. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, also, for some reason, older versions of Minecraft, your, um, your skin doesn't load, so I don't have my skin on. Also, the sound is all the way up. I normally do not play with 100% sound. That, uh, that is a mistake. So, uh, yeah, here we are. Anyway. Oh, yeah, also another thing. Sheep don't drop food yet, so I can't go over there and slay those sheep for mutton. They, uh, they don't drop food. They only drop their wool, which I need the wool for a bed because I don't really want to deal with the nighttime. Uh, I mean, if you don't sleep, it's not like the newer versions because there's no phantoms in the game. So, that's a plus if you don't want to sleep. You don't have to. But I definitely want a bed, so I don't have to deal with creepers. And so, oh yeah, there's also no shields in this version, so... all Well, there's also... I mean, there's no shields, but there is the old blocking system, which if you're newer to the game, and... Well, if you've... you jo If you joined Minecraft in the more recent versions, I think it was like 1.9 when they added... Um... Shields in the game... If you joined around there, you probably don't remember blocking, but in this version, you can block with your sword, so it's basically a shield, just, uh, I don't think it really does anything for creeper explosions, so I'm just gonna kill a few sheep, like so, uh, the, the rest of you get to live, because you don't, you don't drop anything useful other than your wool. Also in this version, another thing that I can still do, I don't need to have all white wool or gray wool, I can use a mixture of wool and make a bed. So, that's, uh, that's, that's a kind of a, I don't know, I don't know why that wasn't a thing that was in the game to start with, was multicolored beds. Like, that should have been added way back, but it's, it was added, I think, in like 114 was when colored beds finally got it added, got added to the game. Did I say got it added? I know how to speak. Also, another thing, uh, if you want to make books in this version... Uh, this was before you needed, uh, leather- wait. There we go. This was the version before you could- you had to have leather to make books. So you could just flat out make books without, uh, leather. So basically a cow farm is not necessarily needed except for the food. So, uh, yeah. One thing that is in this version that's in newer versions is the Ender Dragon. Because I think this was about the time where the Ender Dragon- Actually, I think it was 1.8 when the Ender Dragon got added. I don't, I don't actually remember. This is actually one of my first times really getting a chance to play 1.0 because when I started playing Minecraft, I started playing when 1.2.5 was the most recent version. So a lot of uh, the features were all there. Like I don't remember if the okay the game is 
Okay, the game is die. Oh, hey, there's the cow tipper achievement that is no longer in the uh, game for some reason. Also, they're still called achievements. They're not called advancements. So there's a lot of... Oh, the cake is a lie. I want to get that achievement at some point. Uh, We have on a rail travel. Ooh, that achievement. I don't know. Is that achievement still in newer versions of Minecraft or no? We need to go deeper. Local brew. Okay. We have quite a few achievements to get. Uh, let me kill that cow. And let me now grab some stone. The game is like having weird lag spikes. I'm not quite. Well, this is probably why. Maybe I should turn that down. Eh, well, we'll see. I might turn that back up if the lag doesn't go anywhere. So this is a cave. Hopefully no creepers come up behind me and kill me. So as you can see, I mined a whole bunch of coal and I'm still on level one. Yeah, this was way before XP from mining stuff like ores was added to the game. There's not even quartz in this version. So if you go to the nether and you want some quartz, you can't get them. There's no quartz in this version. So yeah, if you want XP, you pretty much either have to make an animal farm and kill the animals or find a, uh, a mob spawner to get your XP because you don't really get it from doing a lot of the stuff that you get it from now. So yeah, this is a very bare bones version of the game, basically. I was gonna do this in one of the beta versions, but I was I was just kind of, I got bored a little bit ago, and I decided why not? I fired up 1.0. 1.0 is actually really fun. Like it might not have all the bells and whistles that uh newer versions of Minecraft have, but this is still really fun to like just go back and see where Minecraft came from. From what it was here to what it is now, it's still weird that the skins don't work. I'm that, that just keeps throwing me off. I'm so used to seeing my skin, but I can't. Oh, I thought this would go down further, but it didn't. All right, all right. What's uh, what's down here? Ooh, there's some iron. I want that. Oh, I need to place my furnace down and start cooking some of my food. So let me do that. What? Oh, there's not shift clicking in furnaces in this version. What? Wait, why? When was that added? What? That's weird. Why is shift clicking not in this version? What the hell? <laughs> I thought that was always in the game. Well, it's not in the beta versions, but I thought that was added really early on. I, I guess not? That's, that's just really weird. Can I even shift click stuff in chests? Or is that not a thing? Oh yeah, also, I have uh, spruce wood. It, uh, it just makes regular wood. This was way, way before uh, multicolored wood was... Well, I don't know if it was way before multicolored wood was added, but it was... It, this is quite a few updates before that was added. I don't remember when... I think it was around 1.2.5 when uh, multicolored wood was added, but it doesn't... It didn't make multicolored uh, stuff like stairs. So we're still quite a while away from that but let's get this steak so I can gain some hunger and then I'm not gonna let all that cook I don't feel like staying in this uh this hole so I need to get the hell out of here and find an actual cave because I want at least some armor also I probably should kill the sheep because at least they would give me XP which is extremely hard to get as I've already said which actually I'm gonna get some of these to be able to make a uh, a little farm so I can have some e Ooh. oh shit well I forgot that my sneak key was in control oh that's a uh, that's really cool. I might stay here. I wish I didn't fall in that hole. My bed was on me. <laughs> and my food. I don't have any food. Damn it. I, I should have double checked that my crouch key was control. But I didn't. So I just yeeted myself into that cavern. Damn it. I just lost all of that stuff. Damn it. Alright, well. It's not that bad. I didn't lose too much of importance. So let me quickly gather excuse me that doesn't make a button what what there's not but wait what 
You can't make wooden buttons in this version? Excuse me? What? This was... What? I thought wooden buttons were always in the game. I guess not. When the hell were those added? I didn't know those were like a later feature that was added. I thought those were in the beta. What the hell? There are so many things that I'm used to that this, this version of Minecraft just doesn't have. It's so weird going back to these old... Uh, also, there's that old school uh, gravel texture, which a lot of people... I remember when that got changed. A lot of people did not like the uh, gravel texture that it got changed to. But nowadays, I think everybody's pretty much used to it. But that was a that was a very, very big deal when Mojang decided to change the gravel texture. I remember those days. Oh, there's a sheep over there. Is there... Okay, there's... Is there three? I think there's three. Oh, there's some more over there. Okay. Oh, I just realized I don't have any food near... Mm. Kind of wish you guys would drop me some food, but you don't yet. So I'm just going to slay you for your... Oh, there's a spider already. I hear a skeleton. All right, let me uh do this. That I'm just gonna sleep. I'm not about to deal with the mobs. I hear a skeleton, and oh, there's there has to be a cave down here. Oh, I don't have coal. Damn it. Okay, let's just. There is a cave. Okay. Kind of curious if I could... Maybe... Oh, skeleton. Please no. Oh yeah, also, there's another thing that... Uh, is in this version. You can spam click, unlike the newer versions. This was before you had to... Wait for the thing to recharge. You could just spam click away all you wanted to, so... That's a, that's a, I don't really know why they remove spam clicking. I don't understand. I think they're supposed, they're, oh, I thought there was, that zombie was coming this way. But I think they're re-adding spam clicking in the 115 update, I want to say. I heard something about it, but I don't, I don't really know. Uh, can I find some coal? So there's some coal. It's, oh, there's a zombie. Please no, Mr. Zombie. Okay die get out of here all right uh i can make a torch or four torches let me ah uh, i can see now now the video is not going to be extremely dark what the hell Ex excuse me where's this enderman i wish to slay the enderman because the ender dragon is in this version so i could realistically kill him Maybe that should be the goal. Maybe I should make a goal for this little uh, series to kill the Ender Dragon. I just made a mistake. I don't know where he went. Where'd he go? Did he just up and nope out of here? Yeah, also, this was before Enderman like, actually aggroed on the player no matter what. So, in this version, if you hit an Enderman, he has a very high chance of just disappearing forever and never being seen again. So... I think that's what that Enderman just did. He just noped the hell out of here. Oh no, there he is. Come here. I wish to kill you. He's probably gonna kill- <laughs> He just fell down there. Can you come back up here, sir? I wish to kill you. And- <gasps> There he is. Come here. No, stop teleporting away. I can't sprint after you, my friend. St stop it. I can't ri- I- These Endermen, man. They're so temperamental in this version. He's dead, and he gave me his pearl. Nice. I need food really bad, so- Wait, I have bone meal. I just got an idea. Give me seeds. Awesome. I have a few seeds. That's pretty much all I need because this was also before it took a hundred bone meal to have crops grow. It only takes one. So with that in mind, I can get some bread. So let me do that. Yes. 
Yes. Also, I wasted a bone meal. Oh well. I accidentally double put it on a thing. Oh well, I have a little bit of food now. Awesome. Doesn't do much, but... I have a little bit more food. I need to... Get some... Don't fall down there. I need... I, I need to find food, so... Maybe that should be... My focus right now is getting food. So let me... Do this, because I don't think... In this version, a uh, one deep pool of water is gonna break my fall so I don't die from fall damage. So, yeah, I want to make a little pillar so I know where this uh this area is so I can return because I want to check out that ravine to hopefully restock up on the iron that I lost when I fell down the other ravine. Also, I'm gonna turn my render distance back up to far because. I don't really think it's gonna mess up my game that bad when it comes to lag. All right, let's uh, let's hope I don't die. Perfect. I really think, if I remember correctly, uh, that's the best way to survive dropping into water because a one deep pool of water can kill you. I think that might be an older version of the game, but no, there's a creeper down there. But, uh, yeah, there's a version of the game that a one deep pool of water doesn't stop your fall. You still die from fall damage. So, yeah, I'm happy that's not a thing anymore. Also, I really don't like these old swimming mechanics. That's got to be one of the things I miss the most out of the newer versions of the game. Is not having the swimming mechanic. Also, boats suck in this version. So... Probably not going to be using boats anytime soon because they absolutely suck. I really wish you all dropped food, but you don't. All you're good for is wool and XP. But there is a skeleton down here, so I'm kind of interested in killing him. So I can... Oh, there's two. Hopefully they both drop me some bones. Drop me bones. Drop me bones. Alright, one bone. Give me another one. Give me more. Yes, I can make some more bread. I have a little bit more food that I can acquire. Seeing the fact that apparently the cows, pigs, and uh, chickens are just nowhere to be seen. Man, I seen so many cows a few minutes ago, and I just can't find a single one now. Also, I don't think I need to be near water to plant seeds, so... Let me just really quickly... Oh no, I trample... Oh no, is this when... Oh, I think this was before the farming was updated, so just standing on the... Like, just walking on the cro... Yep, just walking on the crops gets rid of them. Oh, that's such a dull... Oh, I'm so happy that's not in the game anymore as well. There's so many features that... Well, we should probably use features very, very loosely when we're talking about stuff like just walking on a uh, tilled land. Well, get rid of the... the uh, we'll just put it back to regular dirt. I really wouldn't call that a feature. I'd call that utterly annoying. Yeah, I remember back on the Xbox because... I play, when I first started playing Minecraft, the PC version was on 1.2.5, but the computer that uh, I used at that time could barely run it on the lowest, like, render distance and whatnot. It was, like, 4 frames. Well, it was more like maybe 10 frames, but still, not ideal to play Minecraft. So, my mo the most of my experience with Minecraft, for a very long time was the Xbox 360 version. So when I started playing the Xbox 360 version, it was when it was released. So it, the 360 version was on the beta version. So I remember those days of making farms and not being able to walk on the crops because just stepping on them would get rid of them. So very, very, very happy that that's not a thing in the game anymore. I have found some pigs. Finally, give me your bacon. Or not, how about you? You want to drop me? Really? They didn't drop... Alright, fine. I'll just kill these spiders and go fishing. Alright, I can make a fishing pole. Also, I'm going to kill this creeper because why not? 
I thought he was gonna blow up and kill me. Ooh, there's some bones here. All right, there's a zombie too. Die, sir. All right, you're dead. At least, uh, I mean, I do have seven rotten flesh, so I could realistically eat that for food, seeing that I don't have any, and those pigs dropped me no food whatsoever, which I'm mad about. So, oh, there's cows. Yeah, is that my pillar I made? It is. There's my pillar. I thought I lost it, but no, it's over there. All right. Oh, there's a bunch of cows here. I'm going to slay all... There's pigs, too. <gasps> and chickens. <gasps> oh, there's so many things for me to slay. Yes. Die. Really? That pig didn't drop anything? Okay, that pig dropped me some, some bacon. Yes, you're dropping me my food. Die. I need to slay all of you. All right, so now that the slaughtering of all of those animals are done, I am attracting two chickens back to oh one of them laid an egg hell yeah but i am slowly gonna bring these guys back to my little pillar over there because i think i'm gonna set up a little base there also something you may notice that i am attracting these chickens with a piece of wheat yeah this was before they changed the whole uh way the animals react to stuff so everything that's like all the animals uh, they follow wheat and are bred by wheat. They don't have specific things you need to breed them in this version of the game. All right, chickens, I need you to get in a little hole here. Just, uh, yeah, just, just go in this hole. No, don't come out of it. I need you guys to go in this hole while I explore this, uh, this mine shaft. Or not mine shaft, but this, uh, thing there so I can... Get some more iron and get some armor. I'm not going to live here, so you guys will have this hole temporarily. So please stay in there and uh, behave yourselves while I check out this hole. Why are you staring at me, Mr. Skeleton? Please don't shoot me. If you shoot me, I'm, I'm, I'm dead. So uh, please don't do that, Mr. Skeleton. I would like not to die in lava and lose everything that I have. There's also an enderman over there. Alright, skeleton. Me and you, we uh, we need to settle our differences. You're the one who goes in the lava, not me. Oh, damn. There's diamonds over there. Well, uh, I want those. I need a water bucket. I should have made a water. I need to go back up and get a water bucket to go get those diamonds. Uh, Mr. Enderman, you need to die so I can sleep. I'm sorry, you- Oh, where'd he go? Is he in the tree? Well, there's the Enderman. Can you come out of that tree, my friend? I need to slay you. Come here. You need to be slay- Where'd he go? Oh! He jumped out of the tree. Where'd he go? Is he in the tree again? I'm terrified. Where'd he go? It's more terrifying when you can't see where the Enderman went. Because he could just appear out of nowhere. And, uh, that would be absolutely horror. <gasps> that actually just scared me. <laughs> you see what I mean? When you don't know where the Enderman is, he could just appear and scare the absolute crap out of you. And that's exactly what just happened to me. Okay, let me, uh, I'm just gonna throw... All right, just just sleep. I don't want to deal with the nighttime. It just got really foggy for no reason. Unless it started raining, I'm not, I'm not sure. When it rained in this version, did it get foggy underground? It wasn't this foggy when I was just down here. That's weird. Anyway, I have some diamonds to get as long as this water doesn't kill me. Okay, we're good. All right, diamonds, you are mine. Come to me, my friends. Aw, yeah, we got the diamond achievement. Now that is an epic moment. Okay, so I'm back at the surface now, and I think I have enough stuff to go build a house right now. I have this pillar here, so I can return to this area and uh, keep exploring that place. Also, there's the coordinates, so I can always return to this place now that I have the coordinates. So let me now... Go get my uh, my chickens out of the hole I left them in and uh, go find a place to build a house.
I think I just found where I want to build my house. It's not that far away. I can still see the pillar off in the distance. So let me put a little hole here that I can... Oh, another chicken has joined the uh, the chicken hole. So that's cool. Oh, oh I thought he was going to stay in there. All right. Get... All right. Well, that chicken... Clear... Oh, they both want to be in the hole. All right. Get in the hole with your friends, my uh, my little chicken uh, pet prisoner. I don't, I don't know what to call you. Uh... I'll let I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll breed two of you, so I'll have four chickens, and I need to plant some seeds. But this is where I'm going to set up my little house. So I need to do a little bit of lawn care really quickly and get rid of all this grass so I can actually build. Okay, so I have finished my little house. It's not great right now. It's just a little uh. It's just a little shack, uh, but I did I did make a little bit of a farm so I can make some farm animals I can uh, I can keep the chickens breeding and I can breed some sheep because I kind of have an idea I want to do with their wool which uh, I'll do when I've made an actual house This is just my little shack for now. So let's go in. It's just made out of wood. The roof is uh uh, wood slabs, which actually something interesting about the slabs in this game, no matter what type it is, like this is a wooden slab it doesn't break with an axe, you have to use a pickaxe to break uh, the wood slabs, which makes absolutely no sense, but that's what you had to do back in the, these, these days of Minecraft, oh also I made some, I have full armor now uh, in case you didn't notice, uh, actually I'll probably just switch those out because those are about to break so this is my little shack for now and uh yeah i am very pleased with it as of now and i think that is gonna do it for this video on minecraft 1.0 it's actually a lot of fun to go back to these older versions of minecraft and just see how much has changed and how different the game is now comparisons to here it's just weird to play this version having all these features something as simple as having just like the sprint key for example not be in this version of the game is just a little bit off-putting but at the same time it's really it's like it's a weird sort of nostalgic feeling in a way because when i started playing minecraft stuff like the sprint key wasn't in the game that wasn't added till i think it was 1.6 was when the sprint key was added to minecraft or it might have been in 1.2.5 i don't 100 percent remember but I do remember the older versions of Minecraft, like 1.2.5, where even if there was a sprint key in the game, I always just double tapped W to run. And also stuff as simple as getting XP from mining like coal or I or not iron, but like diamonds or lapis. And lapis actually being useful in newer versions of the game, where back here, lapis is basically your building blocker to get a uh, blue wool. So it's just the tiny little things that are in new Minecraft that aren't in these versions. That it's just it's a whole different game now with like the pillager update and being able to have real swimming mechanics and having sunken ships. Every once in a while it's nice to just come back to these older versions of Minecraft and just see how wildly different it is in comparisons. It's just little stuff like that, features that are in the new version of Minecraft that aren't in these versions. It's just it's, it's just something about playing the game without those features that it just it's just like like I just said it's it's a little bit of a nostalgic feeling if you were playing this game without those features. So with all of that said, I hope you enjoyed this video on Minecraft 1.0. I'll probably make another video on on this version of Minecraft because it's fun to just play basically a bare bones version of the game. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you're feeling generous, why not hit the like button? And if you did like this video and you want to see more like it, why not hit the subscribe button? So I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.